What's up guys, my name is Kelvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, if you could please hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon and turn on post notifications, that way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a video on the Eastern Eyed Click Beetle, Aleus Oculatus. Uh, it might be a little hard for you to see this beetle, but in a few seconds from now, you're going to be up close and personal with this amazing insect. I'm going to basically just be doing a quick rundown of things about this beetle. Hopefully this video will not be too long. I do not intend that to be the case. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. This beautiful insect right here is Aleus oculatus, the eastern eyed click beetle. I'm sure your attention right off the bat started focusing on these two eyes right here located on its thorax. I will get to the eyes later on in the video, but first I wanted to talk about just some general info about this amazing insect. So the Eastern Eyed Click Beetle is a species of click beetle. Click beetles are beetles in the family Elateridae, and there's approximately over 9,000 different species of click beetles worldwide. Right now I'm going to play a quick video that I recorded of me actually finding a eastern eyed click beetle larvae. I actually found it in rotting wood because that's typically where you will find their larvae. That's where they live. They dwell in rotting, decayed wood. So here's that video right now. As you saw in the video, the larvae of the Eastern Eye Click Beetle has extremely sharp and powerful mandibles. <laughs> it was latched onto my finger and would not let go. That is because Eastern Eye Click Beetle larvae are actually predatory. They are carnivorous and what they do is dwelling in the rotting wood that they live in, they'll feed on many small species of insects and also uh, larvae of other beetles. Typically beetles within the family Cerambicidae, which are commonly referred to as longhorn beetles. So they'll feed on their larvae. You may be wondering as adults, if the beetles are carnivorous or not? And the answer to that is no. So as an adult, the beetles actually primarily feed on nectar and also plant juices. So really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys some stickers that I have for sale on my website. All of these are of various animals that I drew on paper, and then I converted those drawings into stickers. Just to give you an idea of what they look like up close, all of these stickers are extremely durable, they're long lasting, and they are also waterproof as well. This is of a Southern Black Widow that I drew. And as you can see, these are all legit hand drawings that I've made using those markers right there. So if any of you would like to support my small business, you can head on over to kelvinwiley.net. Again, that is kelvinwiley.net. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for supporting my website, but also supporting this channel as well. And now, back to the video. So now I'm going to talk about the false eye spots that are found on the Eastern Eye Click Beetle's thoracic region. I'm sure that some of you know that these are not actual eyes for seeing. Its actual eyes are on its head, not on its thorax, which I can show you right now. So its eyes are right there, those little beady eyes, as you can see. And then you have the mandibles right there. And then also the antennae. And then when this insect plays dead, which it was earlier, it's a lot active now, those antennae actually hide underneath uh, of its thorax. They kind of get tucked away. Yeah, just like that, see? But the false eye spots are what's known as mimicry. Mimicry is basically when an organism tries to imitate another organism or also an inanimate object. In this case, this beetle is trying to mimic eyeballs, which potentially could scare and startle a predator from eating it. 
so it's a good defense mechanism. Now the adults of this beetle can also deliver a bite. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate that in this video, but I will put up a video of me getting bitten by an adult eastern eyed click beetle. So I'm just going to put that up for you right now. So as you can see, not much is different from the larvae and the adults. Both can, <laughs> both can bite as a defense. And then lastly, if this beetle is just so happen on its back, as you can see, it can flip itself right back on its legs and be able to scurry off. <laughs> um, now that is why they are called click beetles, if any of you were wondering. So, it's a super cool mechanism. What they do is uh, they actually cock their thorax in a certain way. And then it's actually able, when it snaps back, it generates enough power to lift its body, propels itself off from the ground and potentially back onto its feet. Now this beetle just so happens to land back on its back. It'll keep repeating the process of trying to flip itself back back onto its legs. Um, let me see if I can show you guys that. Just like that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned some information about this amazing insect. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like and also a comment. Subscribe if you're not already. Also, follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Also, check out my website, KelvinWiley.net. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. Hope to see you in the next video.